Uh, Johnson's inner circle then, something of a collapse going on here. Bring us up to date. Well, perhaps, as Mark says, we ain't seen nothing yet, but with Boris Johnson, the former chief aide Dominic Cummings tweeting overnight, push what is falling. Manira Mirza, she has worked for Boris Johnson for a long time. She was formerly chief of policy at number 10. Before that, she'd worked for Boris Johnson while he was the mayor of London. She went because Boris refused to apologize for some really shocking comments in the Commons earlier this week, accusing the leader of the opposition, Keir Starmer, for refusing to apologize apologize for basically the Jimmy Savile situation and that is something Rishi Sunak was also brought into yesterday and he admitted it's not something he would have said the head of comms Jack Doyle he has also gone admitting over the last few weeks it's taken a terrible toll on his family life Dan Rosenfield chief of staff and also Martin Reynolds a civil servant coincidentally they are both going to the foreign office at the same time it's been a brutal week for Boris Johnson the release of the Sue Gray report was unequivocally damning. Laura, I wonder whether this is a hangover from Brexit, because in Brexit it felt like we had the same conversation again and again and again. And I feel like we're doing this with Boris Johnson as well. And so I'm going to ask you a question that I could have asked you probably any Friday for the last few weeks, but can Boris Johnson actually survive and retain his position as uh, Prime Minister? Well, apparently cabinet ministers think it's 50-50 on this occasion. That's what the Times newspaper are leading with this morning. A vote of no confidence requires 54 letters of submission. Apparently we are at 17 so far. That's according to the BBC. But remember, this is a highly secretive process. What is different this time around, Mark, is the cost of living crisis, which is set to escalate and peak in April. We know energy bills are set to rise 54% now. National and insurance taxation will also rise in April. So can the Prime Minister withstand a deterioration in the cost of living?